Hey y'all, I forgot to brush my teeth. I love decorating people's houses and being creative and coming up with colors and moving furniture and finding art, creating art. I love doing these things. So today I get to help a friend paint her living room and dining room. I say it's a good day. And I got my hat, I got my backwards paint clothes. Let's see how this goes. Well, dang it, I forgot to video while we were painting. Four hours, we painted the entire living room, the dining room, moved all the furniture back, and hung artwork. The house looks gorgeous. I love what I do. I love what I do. It sure is coming down out there, people. No, Dad. Yes. Welcome to my mess. Oh, you guys are putting away your no, clothes? Get Good job. This shirt, I accidentally grabbed it as a mustache. I'm really proud of you guys putting away your clothes so well. Hey, when are we gonna start folding them? I don't know. This mess is kind of embarrassing, don't you think? Yeah. What mess? What do you mean, what mess? The whole, like, everything of the mess. Look how much socks I got. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna Mom, I just want people to know that life is not always just perfect and beautiful. And oh, yeah. right now I'm kind of living in a mess. And it's okay to admit there's only up to go from here. You guys are awesome! Mom, do we do this? Yep. No, not that. Walk you together. Oh, walk together? Yeah, there you go. Woo! Good job, guys! I've got to share my mess. Because Why is I, that, girl? Tell me. Because this is like a confessional. I have duct tape with my makeup, with my journals. But here's the thing. I always put these pretty pictures up, like my life is beautiful, and, and it is. But every life has a little bit of a mess, and I'm just sharing my mess, babe. Well, I've already started taking art off the walls for moving. Well, you know it bothers me intensely. It does? Mess. Oh, right. Ah, oh, I just want to breathe. I must start cleaning up this house. So I am currently fighting and battling bipolar depression disorder. And I'm medicated, but I'm still I'm on low enough dosage that I'm still cycling. So the past couple of days, I have been so having a really hard time with getting motivated or getting excited about anything or getting tasks accomplished. I've still been doing, you know, laundry and organizing the garage, the basement. And I'm just kind of deciding that it's okay to be real and raw and come to you without makeup and looking like a mess and really just opening up and saying, it's okay to go through hard times. I'm still keeping a positive attitude. Here I am. All I want to do is lie in my bed and take a nap. So I should be coming out of this low cycle and I should be going to the high end of my cycling. This is definitely not my best. I will make it out of this victorious and successful and joyful. So I've taken a shower. I feel a lot better. I slapped some makeup on my face so I feel better about that. That's for sure. The other thing I did is I grabbed my Bible and I decided that I need to fill my soul, my heart and soul and mind with this word because this is the only way I can get out of my mess is trust in and rely on the God who created us. That's deep stuff. I feel lighter already. Um, I fought the urge to take a nap and here I am. Joyful, peaceful, excited about life. Sometimes I just say that to myself until I believe it, but I promise I do believe it. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all will subscribe to the YouTube channel and come back and see us. Join the journey, you guys. This is the long way home. 
with Blue Wyatt Living Decorated here with you today. God bless you. Bye.